But look here, man. I done been up on before. That ain't happening no more. I don't take threats light, bro. At all. I'm taking all cautions, all defense. Shout out to Tony C. I'm militant minded in the motherfucker, bro. And I will call the police. I will call the police. I ain't no dumb nigga. I ain't gonna do no dumb shit. I ain't, I ain't gonna do no dumb shit, but I'm gonna let you know, yeah, I'm here. Yeah. Pop out like raccoon. Hey, yeah, I'm here. Yeah. Yeah. You playing them stupid ass game, boy. This ain't no, this ain't gonna be no trucking video. I'm gonna go ahead and put that out here right now. This ain't gonna be no trucking video. I'm gonna give y'all basically like a story on what's really been going on lately. I know y'all been seeing my YouTube channel and y'all been wondering like why this nigga posting addresses and you know, doing all this shit, chicks and niggas, wives and all this shit like that. Like, I'm gonna break down the whole fucking story to y'all. You feel me? So you remember that them group of bitch ass niggas that I told you about that's over there on Loser Island? Like, all them niggas losing. So they got this one bitch-ass nigga. He think he the muscle of this shit. Like, he think he big dog on God. You feel me? So, he been talking shit about Canada Truck. I made a video around about six months ago about how owner operators lose their truck. Niggas crying on YouTube about the rates. Nigga, drive the truck. Use a truck driver. Fuck is you crying about a rate? What the fuck are you trying to crying about losing the truck? Remember I made that video? He took offense to that video and said I was talking about him. Never was talking about the nigga on God. Still to this day, I would say that shit. Like, I never was talking about that man, bro. But he took offense to it and they started all of this shit. Let, let, let's just be real. So he come on here. He called himself exposing me. Uh, camera truck, I ain't got this. Camera truck, I ain't got that. Um, uh, fucking... Cam the trucker stay here. Cam the trucker stay there. Cam the trucker this. Cam the posting fake charges of Cam the trucker. Talking about I'm a thief. Um, I ain't got no license and all this crazy shit. I mean, he just made up a whole situation about a real nigga like me. You feel what I'm saying? So I'm just like, bro. At first I tried to leave it alone, but it's only so far a nigga can play with a real nigga. You feel what I'm saying? It's only so far. That a nigga can play with a nigga before you got to, uh, let, let's see what he really about. You feel what I'm saying? So the thing that I want Buddy to understand, bro, so you really was just going to be, keep talking shit about me on YouTube if I would never got your address? That's crazy. Because the shit you talking about right now, you really ain't talking about shit on God. You just basically trying to explain to everybody why you didn't do shit on God. That's the only thing you're trying to do, bro, on everything. Because you really ain't talking about shit, ain't making no relevant points at this point. So you telling me, homie, you was going to be keep talking shit on YouTube about a nigga if I would never got your address and pull the fuck up. So, let me break y'all this, this shit down. So, homie is a former CEO. I mean, he, he tried to play this YouTube shit real good. You feel me? His mama loved the fuck out of him, bro. Oh, God. Like, he got four fucking girls. You feel me? Remember, he got four girls because I'm going to bring this shit up at the end of this video, damn there. He had four fucking girls, bro. He's a girl dad. His mom loved the way he take care of them kids, bro. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm like, damn, homie, on this bitch tough on some, like, he just popping it. You feel me? So, he a CEO. They don't get his information online. His mama, auntie, and his uncle, all them CEOs. He from Willis, Ferris Point, Mississippi, or some shit like that. They, he worked down there at that jail. You feel what I'm saying? So, the thing about this shit is, bro, he really thought nobody was ever going to get his information. But he be on YouTube talking shit about every fucking body. What they don't get, what they do get, whole time, he ain't got shit. You feel what I'm saying? God damn it, boy. So, I take it upon myself one day. Since the nigga looking me up, you feel me? Putting all these fake ass charges on me. Uh, saying all this fake ass shit about me. Look, my girl, up, all type of shit. I mean, I'm, I'm dead ass serious. I can't cap you down. This nigga put in some real investigative work. I'm telling y'all. You know, they put a lot of man hours in to trying to expose me, per se. 
Like, what the fuck? Man, but I ain't even finna talk about that, man. But what I want to tell you is, homie, you got to find you something safe to do, bro. You got to find you something safe to do. Because the shit you doing right now, the shit you talking about right now, you ain't talking about nothing at all, guy. On everything, bro. Like, bro. So, I get his address. I get where he stayed. You feel me? The first night I get where he stayed at, right? He on YouTube Live talking shit about me. I mean, big shit. Nigga, nigga think because he got my address? Pull up. Nigga, woo, 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 woo. So, mind you, at this point, I already posted his address on my community post, man. One thing about it, I ain't on no crash out of ass shit. Mostly everybody who know me on this YouTube shit know, like, Cam really, he just really want to beat his ass and be through with it. But I'm going to get to all that shit, right? I ain't on no crash out shit, right? So, I post his address or whatever, like, nigga, I got the drop on you. And I text your bitch and told her, I said, hey, I said, um, I said, you're Brisha, because that's his bitch now, you're Brisha. I'm like, you're Brisha. She's like, who it is? I'm like, is this your Brisha? Respectful as possible. Respectful. Because I ain't got his info. You feel what I'm saying? But what I want your beast to understand is your nigga is playing with the right motherfucker. You feel what I'm saying? At the wrong motherfucking time. You did. So I texted the bitch and told her, like, man, tell your nigga to get off YouTube. Stop playing with a nigga on that thing. Like, woo -doo -woo -doo -woo. We, we chopping it up. She hit my line up. What's going on? What, what, what's going on with this? So I basically ran her the story. She's still asking who I am. I'm like, he know who the fuck I am, bro. He know me. Like, he know what's going on. He got my number. Them niggas playing on my girl phone. All type of goof ass shit going on, right? So we get off the phone. I ain't going to even spill that conversation now. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to even spill that shit out. But we get off the phone or whatever, right? He get on YouTube talking shit. You feel me? Talking shit once again. So, I text my folks. I'm like, hey, pull up to that address. See what bro. Because when I I heard, I think I heard a door shut. And I'm like, this nigga outside waiting on niggas. So, I just had to get the confirmation for myself that this goofy nigga was outside waiting on niggas. I only had your address for a couple of hours, guy. You feel me? Mind you, I'm from Memphis. He stay in South Haven. I mean, not the real South Haven. Because South Haven is a beautiful Little state besides Memphis. Well, that ain't a state, but y'all know what the fuck I'm talking about. South Haven is a beautiful place, but where he stay at is like White Haven, off State Line Drive. On the edge, they hop off the expressway, you go down State Line and make a left. That's his shit right there by the motherfucking um, car wash and the motherfucking uh, Valero. You feel me? So, that's neither here or there, bro. So, the whole time, I hear a dumb like this nigga outside waiting on niggas to pull up. Like, he's shaking as a bitch. I ain't even had his address that long. But oh God, it's cool. All right. So I text him for, like, man, pull up over there and see what he on. They pull up over there, like, yes, yeah, a nigga outside with a gun, uh, smoking a cigarette or a vape. That's him. He smoked vapes or whatever the fuck he smoked. Cigarettes are one of the two. They're like, yeah, he outside with a gun on the phone with somebody. They're like, what you want us to do? I'm like, nah, everything good. I just wanted y'all to pull up and get confirmation for myself that this nigga's shaky as a motherfucker, right? You feel me? Because mind you, let me tell y'all the play. I already put his shit on the internet already. So if they come Swiss cheesy, stupid ass, guess who he gonna tell them? Me. Mr. I'm militant, but I will call the police. Come on, bro. I ain't crashing out over no nigga that staying in some bullshit like that. Come on. So, all right. That little play happened, right? So, whole time, I've been a week straight telling him, let's get the one-on-one, -on -one. let's get the one-on-one, -on -one. let's get the one-on-one. -on -one. Because he look at all my lies. He know what I'm talking about. Each time I'm talking about, he remember real good. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm like, how'd I be in Memphis next week? I said it on my live. He watched all my lives. I even said it over there. On they bullshit. You feel what I'm saying? I said it over there. So, the day of me going to Memphis, I go over there. I'm like, hey, tell paper I'm finna pull up on. Chick make bus out. No, you're not. Quit lying. I'm like, oh, my mama, I'm finna pull up on that boy. Tell him what's up. Let's get the one. I don't hear shit. Mind you, he stayed off YouTube that whole fucking day. So I pull up, right? I'm on live. I pull up. So, boom. I, I'm going down the street, right? So I pass his house. I'm looking at the motherfucker. I'm like, damn, where, where this nigga at? I'm outside five minutes, bro. You feel me? I'm outside five motherfucking minutes. So I'm going down there. 
I'm past his house. I get down the street a little bit. I see this goofy ass nigga running down the street with a gun. So I bust out and say, shoot it, bitch. Fuck is you running out your house with a gun and not shooting that motherfucker? You feel me? Like, what the fuck? Clearly, I stated, I'm coming over there to get the one. Mind you, let's, let's break this whole shit down. A particular nigga that be over there, he always talking about Cam gonna pull up with a hundred niggas. Cam gonna do this. I'm like, bro, I'm just gonna pull up by myself. Oh, God. I told him that. I'm gonna pull up by myself, gang. And I'm gonna beat your motherfucking ass, fool. And you gonna learn to stop playing with niggas on YouTube. That's all I was on, gang. That's all I was on. You know what I'm saying? That's it. So we ain't gonna paint this picture like, oh, he pulled a gun out on me and I done ran and Nah, you can't paint that picture, guy. You feel me? Because I didn't even come over there on it. Plus, I had that rock with me, too. You feel what I'm saying? But I'm not trying to kill you over no YouTube. I'm just trying to beat your ass. That's it. Any nigga that can't respect me want to beat his ass, fool. You niggas is goofies. I swear to God, you niggas is goofy. You know what I'm saying? So, as y'all see in this last video, he like talking all this tough rah-rah shit. Mind you. He ain't really been talking about shit since that night. Because mind you, nigga got his address. Oh God. He telling me, oh man, I'm going to call the police. I'm going to do this. It's past us just fighting, man. What? So you saying before I pulled up, it was past us fighting? No, nah, your bitch ass just know you can't fight. I can't even man a man. Pulled up to your shit, cuz. And you duck your motherfucking taco. Moral of that story. You duck your shit. Oh God. And, and, and the crazy thing about it, homie, you was going to keep talking shit about me on YouTube if I would never found your address. You a bitch. Moral of this story, cuz. For real, for real. I'm just not one of them niggas to be playing with, bro. I got a hundred some niggas that love the fuck out of me in Memphis, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, this shit can go real ugly for you, man. Like, real talk. You just got to stop playing on YouTube, guy. Like, at the end of the day, G, I still will get the one-on-one -on -one with you on my soul. I'm ready to beat your ass at any given moment, fool. You feel what I'm saying? That's on my mama. I'm going to beat your ass if you want to get the one-on-one. -on -one. But you come and saying, making excuses like, yeah, I'd have been a gun that got pulled out on me before. I'd have been up on before. Bro, ain't nobody on my side talking about upping no gun on you, cuz. What the fuck is you talking about? Just excuses, bro. You make it. You come to make it even motherfucking excuses. You talking about a nigga harassing you, a nigga stalking you. You man, saving videos, all that gay ass shit, man. It's your gay ass on somewhere, bro. Plain, plain and simple, bro. You ain't on shit. Ain't gonna do shit. Ain't from shit. Ain't never been on shit. None of that shit. So don't be trying to act like you on shit on YouTube, nigga. Period. Oh, God. Niggas some whole hoes out here, fool. And that shit just proved it, bro. Y'all got to hold that L on that side. It's a whole lot of L's getting held on that side, cuz. Let me tell y'all about this little story, right? You got this nigga named uh, Kobe, right? He finessed one of the truck drivers trying to be his friend, right? He finessed him. Listen to the story. He finessed him, like, hey, let's link up at the truck stop. We cool. We friends. Let's just meet up. Why they, why they? So this big, fat, goof-ass nigga... Meet up with the nigga at the truck stop. They on live stream. Live stream. Meet up at the truck stop. Kobe bitch ass pull a gun out on this man. Two feet away. And say, I'll blow your stupid ass. Why did you just blow his stupid ass? Why the fuck are you telling him you gonna blow him, gang? You feel me? Blow him. You already pulled the gun out. See, the difference between me and paper... I ain't never pull a gun out. I don't pull my gun out unless I'm going to go knock your stupid ass down. That's the difference. I just came over there to get the one-on-one. -on -one. Any nigga can't respect it, it is what it is. <laughs> oh, God. But you niggas doing a lot of pump faking over there. So let me finish the story. So he pulled a gun out on him two feet away saying, I'm going to blow your ass. I'm going to blow your ass. They having a whole conversation. Kobe talking about, man, you talked about my family. You talked about my kids. All that shit. That's why I don't do that messy ass, gay ass shit on my live stream. You feel me? Everybody on this hoe on some trucking shit, on some united we stand, divided we fall type shit on my end because I don't want it to be to a point where, nigga, we all can't meet up as grown ass men. Like, them niggas can't meet up. All them niggas meet up, have a fucking barbecue, somebody gonna die. Honey grand. For real, for real. And, and I bet a lot of niggas gonna shoot their shot at paper. There's no cap. But, let me finish telling you how to go about Kobe bitch because I'm kind of getting sidetracked with his bitch ass. So this bitch ain't pull a gun out on a nigga. Fat ass nigga. I mean, he about 400-something pounds. You feel me? So the fat ass nigga was shocked. 
He said, when he pulled out the gun, he said, man, I thought we was on the up and up. I thought we was on the up and up. I'm like, these niggas just be playing with each other on YouTube, hollering, arguing with each other in motherfucking day. And then they link up. This nigga pull a gun out on a nigga. Cuz you you better off just spring it on a nigga, cuz. You feel what I'm saying? So, so let me let me break this shit down to y'all. So Kobe busts out and say, Cam, why you didn't stop the car and shoot at him? What type of crash ass, silly, felonious, junky monkey, bunky ass shit that is? You want me to stop my car and shoot at this nigga? What the fuck I look like? This nigga didn't pose no threat to me. He's just running with a gun. He's just running with a gun, man. He didn't pose no threat to me at all, bro. No threat. He's just running with a gun. I'm fucking damn near halfway down the motherfucking street. Fuck, I look like stopping and just shooting at the nigga. Come on, man. See, you niggas got to be more careful. See, I'm not on no crash out shit. So when you pull the gun out on G-Nut, you crying on YouTube, begging G-Nut to not call the police on you. See, the thing about it is, I know that nigga, the police. That's why I just wanted to get my motherfucking one. You feel what I'm saying? That's it. <laughs> no cap. But I know where your bitch ass stay at. I know where your bitch ass stay at. You living like a bum. See the game. You kind of keep talking about you ain't working and shit, right? Kind of making that seem like you working. You ain't working because you got some type of money. Bitch, I already know you got your taxes. You got four fucking kids and a little baby. Like, what the fuck is we talking about? I know you got your taxes. You can sit down for a little bit. This nigga came outside looking junky as hell. Her not cut. He fucked up. Running down the street with a gun. And I'm I'm just hanging out the car like, shoot it, bitch. <laughs> like, I'm not taking you serious, gang. On God. From this point on, fool, you really ain't got shit to say. On everything, G. Because I don't care how you try to backpedal your way up out of this shit. Them niggas know over there, bro. You want no shit on everything. Friendly one. That's it. I'm still offering it to you. You still don't want to do it. You still want some. I'm going to pull a gun out and kill a nigga. What? <laughs> man, I'm telling you, bro. You niggas is some hoes, man. Some fucking hoes. I swear to God. And the crazy thing about this shit, bro. You stay in South Haven, fool. <laughs> like, my hood is not far from where you stay at, gang. That's why the fuck you think it, it was so quick for me to pull up. The whole time, I'm just on live stream talking shit to the guy. I'm like, I'm going to pull up on him, see if he want to fight on everything. Like, bro, your whole neighborhood junkie as hell, nigga, on everything. For real, cut your fucking grass, gang. You at home all day, you and your bitch is not working, gang. You at home all day and your grass ain't even cut. Cut that shit, man. Cut it. But you on YouTube every day talking to niggas about a nigga, gang. It don't make sense at all, bro. On everything. I'm out here getting to the money, guy. I swear to God, I am. No cap. I'm just being real. But you on YouTube all day talking about niggas and your fucking grass ain't cut, G. Your fucking house look like it's finna fall the fuck apart, gang. Do something with that shit. Get that big goof ass tree out the way. Do something, gang. You gotta do something positive and productive. Because, G, you don't got a job. You just miserable at home, bro. Trucking then whoop your motherfucking ass, bro. That's why you took offense to my video. I can't make it up to you. You feel me? But stop all this I'm moving militant shit, all this shit. Bro, you're not stirring nobody, gang. Oh, God. I'll pull up the fuck again. I'll pull up again. This shit ain't gonna go the way you think it's gonna go, though. You feel what I'm saying? That's all I'm telling you. It's some nigga that really... No, no, no. But, man, hey, just stop playing, homie. You know what I'm saying? I know you're gonna call the police. And I know you're gonna talk all this bullshit. But guess what? Some niggas are laid down. You feel what I'm saying? Some niggas are laid down. Don't work, don't mind laying it down for knocking your bitch ass off. You feel me? So, bro, just chill out. You know what I'm saying? I know a lot of people going to come in under this video and be like, Kim, don't even worry about them chill. I'm not worried about the nigga. I'm just making content. You feel me? I'm just making content. I'm happy as a motherfucker. I'm chilling. You know what I'm saying? Life's good. I'm not taking this nigga serious at all. He more worried about me than I'm worried about him, guy. You feel me? Like, no diddy. <laughs> no fucking diddy. So y'all ain't gotta come in, Cam. Don't uh don't let no nigga knock you off your pivot. Stay focused, all that shit, man. I'm always focused. I'm all the way focused at all times. You feel me? But I just wanted to address that situation, man. Y'all know y'all my people, man. I love y'all. Man, this is what I want to say to all the real men out here, man. You can't be talking shit 
and not expect no consequences to come behind your motherfucking actions, bro. Prime motherfucking example. You feel me? So Homer was just gonna keep talking about me on YouTube if I would never had his address. Mind you, if you really look at how Homer been talking lately, he ain't been on this big rah rah shit like he normally to be on. He ain't been on that shit since I pulled up on his ass. And he know that I'm capable of doing whatever to his stupid ass. And I ain't even gotta do shit. I'm just gonna be real with you. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not trying to do that shit. Just to put that out there for his police. I'm not trying to do none of you. You feel what I'm saying? I just want the one on one. If you fucking call me tomorrow or something, they be like, Cam, come to Memphis to get the one-on-one. -on -one. I'll be there next week anyway. She, we can set it up then. You feel what I'm saying? We can set it up at a neutral location. I'm just going to beat your motherfucking ass and get it over with. But if we ain't talking about doing that game, leave me the fuck alone. I swear to God. Because I ain't got no time for your police ad, G. <laughs> for real, for real. I ain't got time for it. So, man, y'all my people, man. I love y'all. And remember, man, if you ain't getting no motherfucking money on your ass, it's done, you stupid, goofy fool.